so we're just gonna jump right into this video uh i kind of we're gonna do something so we're gonna start from square one on building our own farm and uh i bought a hay mower i bought a hay rake and i bought a hay baler and you know we got waterways and things that we never really do anything with so might as well make some money with it so we're gonna take all this hanging equipment that i bought and uh we're gonna see how much money we can make with it and maybe in a couple videos we can do some baler trading some mower trading some rake trading and work our way up to new equipment uh it's a new series on the channel i want to try out and uh we're gonna see how far we can make it but we got some hay ground uh a couple acres like four or five acres here and there and then we got a, a big lake that we can do so i'm ready to see how this all plays out and everything with after and then we got this 4430 here that we can use too once the clutch gets put back in it which uh i'd probably use this tractor on the baler honestly uh we're doing all square bales so this tractor would work out pretty good on the baler and then we're going to use the 5100 probably to rake or the 5400 to rake with and then we'll use either the 51 probably the 5100 to mow with just because it's a little smaller tractor or vice versa be sure to stay tuned watch this whole video uh it'll take me so i also forgot to mention in walker we have like 10 acres of uh just grass that we don't do anything with so hopefully next year since we're clean clearing it off this year it has some trees and stuff in it so hopefully next year uh we can actually take that 10 acres and put it in hay production and make some extra money and then some of the neighbors around here they have just little grass fields so like a bale or two is a bale or two no matter how you get the bale or two bales which that's I'll probably sell them seven bucks, make it cheap, cheap hay for people. People like cheap hay because I know the square bale market right now is like eight dollars a bale here in uh, southeast Missouri, where we are based out of. So I'm ready to try this out. Start from square one on hay setup, and then uh, work our way up until some new equipment, and uh, hopefully everything pans out, works great. And so we got the baler. It's an old international baler. It's a 440, uh, well, international 440 wire tie square baler, which baler works good, makes nice tight bales. I've seen it bale a couple times. It looks like, that's great. Didn't tie that bale, but this bale's tight. This bale, whew, one side isn't tight on that bale, but it does make nice even type bales all the way across. I didn't I gave a thousand bucks for this baler, so that's a thousand dollars in debt we are, which we have a hundred bales sold, and I told the guy I was like, hey, I'll sell you the bales for five bucks a piece. So as long as this thing makes two hundred bales, this thing's paid for. Because hundred bales at five dollars a piece, five hundred bucks, two hundred, that'd be a grand. So then the baler's paid for. And then we use the baler a little bit longer and it's missing some teeth but other than that it's a it was cheap and uh next up we gotta get a mower i got a rake found so if we're gonna have a rake still trying to find a mower as of today but we got the last piece of equipment first for some strange reason but we're not gonna have this for long because my plan is is once we make enough money we're gonna sell this baler buy like a, a john deere or a new holland hayliner and get a different baler for next season so hopefully we can do probably 500 bales 600 bales with this thing sell the bales at five bucks just to get rid of them so i'm not sitting on them and uh that's two dollars cheaper than what everyone else is selling their hay for and the reason i can do that is because my equipment is paid for so i don't have tractor payment baler payment rate payment so we got a cheap baler and the goal is to start with cheap equipment might look a little junky but hey it's better than nothing and uh, make some money and have some fun and some good content for you guys on trailer so here's the baler so let's go get the rake actually or the mower let's go get one of them so we got a hay mower and the hay mower is on the 5200 it's a nine foot ideal uh disc mower so if you guys are wondering if a little 5200 can pull a nine foot 
disc mower it can i used it last night had to work some bugs out of the mower but other than that mower works so we're gonna go down to the waterway in front of the house it's nice and thick and uh, let's go mow it Ooh. i'm gonna take tractor out of gear third gear third gear let's roll So when we get down there, we just gotta let the uh, pickup head down. Well, I don't really want to run over the Oops, my bad. But all we gotta do is let the pickup head down, and then we should be able to turn on the baler and uh, go to town on baling some hay. So hopefully, if everything works out, the baler will work, the tie bales, and we will be in business. So let's get down there to where. Uh, we got to pick up the hay at. So here's our windrow. It gets bigger the farther up you go. Right here was a smaller, poor area, but that's where we first started to bail at. So now we're gonna come over here to this, which this is a two hand job, but you take this, see if we can do it one handed, and then you let it down. And then it's very slow. So let's go uh, get the pickup head down. The pickup head down. So I guess the next step is to uh, start rolling up this hay here in the square bales. I don't know if the square bale is going to tie or not. So hopefully it does. The kid who I bought it from, he tied a bunch of bales with it. And still got some bales in it. Then he bought a hay liner. So hopefully this baler works really good. So we can make our money back on this baler. But uh, now we got a... Got all the bales sold already, so let's mow this one windrow. That's been slow. So we mowed this hay down this morning and it's already dry. I guess that's what happens when it's little short stuff. Uh, it dries out pretty quick. That's oh, rough. But we got a couple nice windrows here. They're not very tall. So a couple bales off of this will be pretty good. We ended up getting seven bales off of that uh, little strip. So maybe 20 bales here, 10 bales, hard telling. So we had a little trouble with the baler tying bales. Like this bale's loose. But uh, I'm going to get Landon over here. And he's going to put the tractor in the yard. And then we're going to refill feed this bale through the baler and then uh looks like we got another bale out so we'll put one bale in get a bale back uh i don't know the count on how many bales we got down there yet but uh once we pick them all up i will know the count i'm on gas around 50 bales so far 45 50 bales so far so uh once i know the count of how many bales we got off of that little half acre i'll let you guys no but uh we got another waterway to do tomorrow and then after that waterway uh we are done for a little bit i gotta find some more hay ground but trust me i'll find some more hay ground and uh we'll just keep on bailing these bales up <laughs> 